Nothing, at least for me, literally nothing beats a good old cup of Joe. But could the benefits of your brew be sabotaged by what you're putting in it? Yeah. We're joined by Prevention <laughs> Magazine executive editor, Olesa Pindak. You're going to share three of the worst things that you can add to your coffee, but the best part is you're going to give us some alternatives. That's right, exactly. So the worst offender, first up, non-dairy creamer. Okay, so I got my cup of coffee. You're saying do not use the non-dairy creamer. Do not use it. Let's get rid of it. Let's and I, that I'm away. with you. Bam. Boom. Oh. <laughs> this is this is how you do it. Thank you. Thank you. So non-dairy creamer, just say no. That's right. A better alternative um, is to go with the um, with coconut. So coconut milk, coconut creamer. These are healthier options. Um, and actually, coconut has been shown to boost immunity um, and boost your metabolism. So basically, coconut, great option. What do we got here? This is just regular vitamin D. Full fat milk, is that is this another surprising exactly. thing we're messing up? It's so surprising, right? Because people think fat free, low fat, better choice, but new studies are showing that actually whole milk is the better way to go. And, and it's interesting, some of these new studies with whole milk, particularly organic whole milk with the, the good fatty acids, yep. you're actually decreasing your risk of diabetes because you don't get that massive sugar rush that you might get with skim milk. You want a little bit? Absolutely. Just a little dabble, do you? But the other thing Perfect. is the fats in this whole milk bind to the tannins or help bind to the tannins so you don't stain your teeth as much. I like that. Okay, third one, flavor shots. Everybody loves them, but whether it's your hazelnut or your vanilla or your pumpkin spice at this time of year, all of those, when you're adding them, you're not just adding, adding the flavor, you're also adding sugar, and it's a lot of sugar. But, so but we think, okay, little hazelnut, what's the big deal? But then you read the back, first ingredient, Sugar. Sugar. Exactly. I'm not doing it though. I'm, I'm going to miss. But that's, We're getting rid of that. No thanks. Trash. But admittedly, a lot of people like just a little something in their coffee to give it a, a flavor. So what do we do? You can add a little bit of vanilla extract, just as long as it's natural. And it's the kind of thing that you would add when you're baking. What's Same interesting, type of I've never tried this. Mm -hmm. I, I've actually never gone with an extract. So you could do vanilla, all the other ones, yep. like what, what hazelnut, do we get? Almond, hazelnut, any almond. Of these, yep. The difference is you're going hazelnut extract rather than hazelnut syrup. Right, right. This so just a little, little drop? I like to pour it in the cap. Try that. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying new things. There you go, there you go. All right, so Perfect. just swirl it around. Can yep. I give it a test? Go for it. That's solid. It's good, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you know what you're saving? <laughs> you're saving yourself self almost 19 grams of sugar here. That's how much can be in just a few shots of the flavor shots. And it's so great that we're talking about this because, again, everyone, coffee is the number one source of antioxidants in Americans' diet. Coffee right. is not bad for you. It's what we add to it. You can find more tips like these in the November issue of Prevention. But the best part, everyone in the audience is going home with a year-long subscription to Prevention. Alessa, thank you so much. Thank you.